So good day all. Thank you for coming to the chat room. We will wait another five minutes. So while we wait, we will play the national anthem first and we have our speaker, Michael, to share with us the latest updates of our FCF. I've chosen to take on the most powerful enemy of all, the elite. Chain. In the dungeon, the shine so bright. SCF's wonder, a financial height. In virtual worlds, and we press on with might. For in this realm, we chase the light In the birth of time, we are architects of fate Guardians united Side by side, we rise up Welcoming a new state Digital legends Innovations all embrace I see that bad heart Never-ending race Digital heroes Together
Before you invest in the next new build property overseas, you oh, legends grace. All right, all right, all right. Once again, welcome all to our chat room for the SCF updates. Right, without further ado, we will invite our speaker Michael to share the latest updates. All right, so at the end of the day, please. Uh, ask constructive questions and have an open mind. All right. So hand over the mic to Michael. All yours. Uh, hi, for all the SCF members here. I believe uh, everybody is now uh, hungry for information. And uh, today, this session is uh, an update on what. Uh, that we had a meeting, uh, management meeting with uh, the core leaders from the management and the core leaders last night. So this session primarily is to update all English speaking members, right? And uh, on what is going to happen next. And of course, there are a few uh, questions that you guys may have in mind. Uh, which we can actually relate what the company has uh, spoken to us. So I believe uh, <clears throat> most of the members, uh, they have a few very uh, important questions in mind, which we will be able to address in a short while. All right, we will do it uh, slowly. And... Uh, I think the meeting room is still filling up. So we will provide all the chances for all the members to be able to, English speaking members especially, to be able to listen to this update because I think is, uh, you know, some of the members may have already gotten some messages. All right. And uh, they are trying to verify how true is the, information as well as the uh, you know some of the English uh, or Chinese speaking uh, members as well so tonight's a session that uh, we will update whatever that we know uh, from the company to and we'll try to address some of the uh, questions that we have from the members in the later part all right so uh, room is still filling up. We will just wait for one to two minutes before we, we start the session for the benefit of everybody so that we don't need to do any repeats and because uh, if they don't, uh, then don't come in on time, then... Uh, they will not be able to listen and they will ask the same question again and again. So this is something that uh, we would not suggest.
I believe a lot of members are uh, kind of uh, uh, upset or unhappy, but uh, we are all the same. We all face the same situation that uh, we are trying to work with the company. All right. So, venting frustration or doing something uh, few, uh, is not going to help the situation. So, uh, let's be uh, objective about this and uh, we will move on with it. Right, let's, uh, let's start the session today. Right, so first, we, the first thing that we would like to talk about is about uh, the resignation of Ms. Yu Yu as a global CEO. So a couple of uh, days ago, she has uh, tender her resignation with the company. And uh, the company has uh, accepted her resignation. And uh, effectively, she is uh, no longer representing the company as a global CEO. It's point number one. And of course, uh, other than... Uh, other than that, not only about her resignation and what uh, some of the actions that has been uh, done uh, by Ms. Yu Yu has been, has been deemed as the company as not uh, complying to some of the standard of conducts as a CEO, as, as such the company it's not only uh, terminating her account, it's also uh, freezing all her accounts, including all the mining activities. So the series of conducts, I think uh, all the members, uh, which is uh, a serious violation of the conduct. And uh, as a result of that, the company has uh, actually uh, decided on this uh, action. So she has been uh, resigned and uh, removed from the office uh, immediately. And, uh, and at this moment of time, there will be a newly appointed CEO from Global will be taking over uh, the, this position. And we have not gotten the official appointment on the new CEO yet, it will be announced very soon. Now, Singapore office will be the Asia Pacific headquarter for the uh, for Asia Pacific region. So it's a very important office for the company. And because of that, the company has decided to pay because the, the because the lease is uh, for two years, so the, the uh, U.S. office will be paying the entire two years lease until two zero two five. All right, it's two zero two five. So this is something that the company is going to do, and which is important to the market that the company is going to hold on for the next two years. Two zero. Two five. All right. So a lot of the members, I believe, has a lot of uh, they are upset. They do not really understand. Uh, you know some of the things that the company has to do, but as to run the company is not as simple as what we thought, and there's a lot of decision that uh, uh has to be made that we can't really control. But however, there's one thing that very, very important. If the company were not continuing or doesn't want to move on, they can just take one minute or less to just shut off the server. Everything gone, you see? So this is not something the company wish to do. It's just that there are certain things that we not able to be within the company control. 
That's why they have to end up, uh, you know, making this uh, unfavorable decision to all the members. So, uh, as the members, we have to work along with the company. Uh, especially uh, some of the big leaders from all the countries, we are actually working along with the company to understand and also uh, work with the company as much as we could, all right, to, to mitigate as well as to get more benefit for the members here. And rest assured that this will continue because since the company is continuing, all our members, all our leaders, they are working, uh, re reflecting all the market voices to the company. So one of the area that we are actually working uh, hard and communicating over the past few days is about the four countries that the company has decided to turn, to discontinue, and with all the leaders' work, we have uh managed to get the company to resume the operation for the following countries, which is Hong Kong, Macau, Japan, and Taiwan. So within these two days, these two, these four countries will resume and uh, all the members within these four countries will be able to reinstate their position and their account and this actually will take a lot of work from the company because it's not easy to segregate all the data and get it back online so this is one of the things that the, the members the leaders has able to negotiate with the company to resume the market for these four countries within these four days uh, these two days, all these countries will resume as per normal. So as for China, the decision still stays, whereby Chinese uh, account will not be able, they can only do the mining and also to retrieve the mining. That's it. So they are not able to do any normal operation, inclusive the mortgage, the patching, the sticking, etc. Even to introduce any more uh, new members. But however, if it's not within China IP address, the company cannot do anything. So the IP address is the key that able to, I mean, uh, allow uh, this IP from the different countries to be able to perform normally. This is an important step because I think China is a, a country that is very difficult to handle, especially from the, uh, from the country perspective. So that's also explained why Binance or B and all this, they have to give up China market, right? Not only China market, you know, they have to give it, give, even Singapore, some market also, all this uh, crypto exchange, it's not able to operate in the country. So that is the key uh, important thing that why uh, SCF have to really operate out of China. So for those members that probably uh, have, uh, because they have gone to this country for holiday or gone to this country for transit, their account will also be affected at the beginning. So within these two days, the company will reinstate all these accounts accordingly. So this is uh, some uh, this is what is going to happen, which is going to benefit those members that are in these countries. All right. Now, so next update is about is about how when are we going to start right uh in fact our mining the subscription of the 2002 2200 2200 notes has been successfully completed last night and i think by tonight they will start to release the mining for these 2200 new notes 
And I believe many of the members already know that these 2,200 new notes is going to follow uh, uh, 180 days uh, linear release. All right, that is uh, from this starting of uh, today onwards. I mean, for the old notes, will continue to release as per normal. And these new notes will start releasing the mining from tonight onwards. So that is the mining operation. And the next question is, uh, many of our members are asking whether we will, uh, how about this, uh, whether we can continue to do the, we continue to do the uh, business, right? Business has been always uh, able to continue. Uh, I mean, since a couple of days ago, right? So all the countries, the members that are not affected by these five countries, they can actually do the referral. They can also do the pledging and sticking using uh, FUSD. It's not a problem. All right, so but uh, for countries in the these four countries, only when they reinstate, then they can do. All right, other than that, other countries they are always able to do it, like uh, Malaysia, Singapore, India, all this Thailand, all this Indonesia, all these countries they are actually able to do it. But however, a lot of the members is asking, how are we? able to how are we able to okay to really uh sell our scf right or how are we going to sell our scf or even fusd right so at this moment of time uh the only ways for us to turn into usdt is to go through fsl the reason why the company is doing this is to promote FinSo FSL token as a as an important feature of our ecosystem of the company ecosystem. So many of the members they may not really uh, pay attention to this uh, FinSo token FSL, but uh, this is how. Uh, be able to do it. So let, let's just take a look at uh, what is FSL because I think a lot of members, they may not be able to understand what is uh, FSL. And uh, let me share more about FSL. All right. In fact, on the 9th of October, the company actually launched this announcement in the app about SCF ecosystem coin FSL and also the commencement of the FinSo mining. So this is the important part of the SCF ecosystem token, which is the first one, FSL. In fact, it's already launched on the 9th of October our time. So 8th of October Pacific Standard Time. All right, so the FSL is important ecosystem and important token and the company would like to use this as a as a way to get the FSL token to complete the uh, ecosystem accordingly so a hundred million FSL token will be issued Alright, so this is uh, the tokenomics of the FSL, which is, I think, is important for me to go through this. Right, so uh, 100 million is going to be issued. And uh, total, the time for the issuing of FSL, to FSL token is at uh, is six months. So there's only a limited period of SSL token. And uh, now we are talking about uh, 100 million. Uh, let's talk uh, 
100 million FSL token will be issued within the period of six months. So there's no private sales, no reserve, and no airdrops. So these token can only be obtained by participating in the Finso games so that you have the opportunity to mine and reward FSL. And most importantly, most, most importantly is the FSL already listed in PancakeSwap. So FSL already been listed in PancakeSwap. So which means that we can uh, actually cash out in PancakeSwap, right? So let's take a look here. What is the FSL? Uh, FSL is all on. Is this one. So this is the correct FSL token that we can actually see the address is the address uh, start from uh, you have to make sure that address that is correct. Huh? Address is uh, and address FF08. Huh? So FS08, this is the address of the FSL token. So at this moment of time, I think a uh, lot of members are not still uh, not very aware of this FSL token. And this is the way that uh, FSL token is able to uh, cash up at this moment of time for the members itself. All right. So the price now is uh, 129, 129. Now, so let's go back to... Let's go back to the FSL. So the FSL, um, now uh, just now I have shared with uh, the team that FSL is actually a FinSo, FinSo token. And FinSo token in total is 100 million, but it's going to follow the uh, de defl deflationary approach, whereby this approach, huh? deflationary approach, whereby it will continue to burn until the token total token is only 1 million, which is 99% reduction. So how does the company do that? 80% of the FinSo platform daily revenue will be used to FSL buyback and burning. So which means that all the tokens every day will be burned accordingly. And once that is done, and maximum per day issuing of the FSL issuing rules, huh? daily maximum is 555,000 tokens. So how do you get this token? How do you get this token? You can get this token by doing, playing the game. Simple as that. All right, so once you play the Finzo games, doesn't matter. You just have to participate in the Finzo games. Then you will have the opportunity to mine FSL. So which means that if you today, you can use uh, SCF or you can use FUSD to play the game. You can play the game in Finzo. So once you play the game, you will be able to uh, reward because depending on how much uh, you have played, for example, if you play 100 SCF or even let's say 10 SCF, uh, we don't talk about so big, uh, let's say play, uh, 10 SCF. So based on your 10 SCF that you have played in total, uh, so play means what? Every time you just press, there will be uh, F, uh, SCF being uh, used. So how many, how much you have used only? That means you, you you use more, you get more. You use less, you get less, right? So if you use 10 SCF to play, then your calculation is 10 SCF. If you use lesser, that means you play five, there will be just five, right? So the system will calculate in total, in total, how many SCF or FUSD is being played. So, for yourself, 
is a percentage of the total, right? So then every day there will be a calculation every day, every day, you know? So once there's a calculation being done based on the percentage of what you have actually uh, pay or uh, maybe contributed as a transaction, then based on maximum 555,000, you will get a share of it and you will be distributed to all the players accordingly. So once you get the FSL token, right, every day you will get it and you can actually sell in PancakeSwap. So what, uh, so what you can see here is, uh, uh, wait, this is the PancakeSwap. So now it's today, now it's one thirty. So you can actually go into pancake swap trades. See, there are people buying and selling these tokens. Some of our members actually experience this. Uh, probably one day they can play maybe uh a few SCF and uh, they can actually get about hundred uh a few SCF uh, so about hundred were. USDT cash out on a daily basis if the members would like to uh, cash out using this means. So now this is the, the best means for any of the uh, SCF members who would like to uh, cash out the SCF or even the uh, FUSD, right? So is to go through these uh, uh, FinSO games Right, so that you can actually uh, cash out accordingly to USTT. <clears throat> this is an important, <clears throat> very important ecosystem. And uh, today we already have uh, sharing with uh, you know our members in Singapore in the Singapore office, and some of the members actually started doing this, and they have uh, literally achieved quite good results. You know, uh, after uh, by playing of it, and. Uh, because of this FSL, a uh, company is going to Im uh, increase the LP. Uh, the company is going to increase the LP accordingly. So the LP will be increased to 5 to 10 million. And so that we provide more liquidity. And there will be a lot more transaction in times to come because uh, just now I'm talking about 80% will be used for buyback and burning. So even though the uh, the members are cashing out using this mean, but 80% is going to buy back and burning. So this will actually uh, a mechanism to uh, bring the price back. That's why we will be expecting the price of uh, FSL to start to climb once uh, there'll be more activities from the members through all the education and uh, about it. And of course, because uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, some of the members they are starting to to go into Finso to play the games, and as such, uh, the server is uh, having some uh, overloading issue. So the company is upgrading the Finso server. We are expecting uh, the next one to two days, the server will be able to fully upgrade it to accommodate all these uh, players who wish to cash out. Right, so this is the important feature of Finso, and it's also the currently the only ways for us to, uh, try to cash out our FUSD, or our SCF, at this moment of time. So once we have uh, the company uh actually will manage the FSL token, by putting in more liquidity and uh, doing all the buyback and burning. We expect the transaction of FSL to continue to climb. And <clears throat> with that, once the FSL is stabilized, company is going to introduce this pair, SCF FSL pair. So currently, there's no this pairing yet. So this pairing, the company will introduce this pairing so that for those uh, members who do not wish to play the game, 
they can just swap between SCF to FSL. So once the members swap SCF to FSL, then members can sell the FSL for USDT. So by then, uh, members do not need to participate if in the game if they don't wish to. One important point to take note is about the game, right? So the game, you do not need to play it on a daily basis. Because let's say you can accumulate some uh, SCF or some FUSD, and you can actually play the game one shot, one hour or what, and you finish it. And uh, the next day, you will be able to get the FSL token. And you can, with the FSL token, you can cash out anytime. If you look at the price, it's not up to your liking. You can don't cash out. Right, so if you think the price is good enough, you want to cash out, you can cash out. So you do not need to do it on a daily basis. All right, you can just uh, accumulate your uh, SCF or FUSD and do it when you accumulate enough and just do it one time. All right, or some of the members may just uh, just wait. Right, we will the company will introduce this SCF to FSL pairing. So once this pairing is uh, introduced to the system and members can just swap SCF to FSL and FSL, you can cash out to USDT by then. <clears throat> so this uh, will happen once our FSL is gaining traction and we will gain traction because I think uh, at this moment of time, this is the best way for us to cash out. So once this is happening, you will see the token price is gaining transaction and traction. And this is important as part of the ecosystem. Of course, there are members who think that, oh, all these uh, games is not what they like to play. Company is going to introduce more games, right? They will introduce more games, simpler games for other members to be able to play on it. So... Uh, this will be introduced in the later part. So this is the uh, important part that uh, every member should take note that uh, that we will actually, uh, the company has uh, introduced. I think some of the members, if they do not wish to listen, and they are giving uh, those uh, un unconstructive comments. We have no choice but to remove you from the, the session because we, we can do nothing, right? Because we what we are doing here is to deliver the message from the company. All right, so please be constructive and so that we can actually move forward with it. Right, so this is uh, how any members that would like to cash out using this FSL at this moment of time. All right, so that is the uh, only channel for, for you to actually cash out your SCF and, uh, and FUSD at this moment of time. So F FSL now already introduced into the market and <clears throat> we will, uh, okay, I think a lot of members, they're still unsure. So the pairing of SCF to FSL is not yet available, not yet, okay? Because the only way for the members to get FSL right now, either you go and buy from PancakeSwap or you can actually use your SCF or FUSD to play in Finso platform. So once you play in the Finso platform, then you can actually earn FSL coin on a daily basis. From then, you can actually uh, sell your FSL coin, FSL coin in PancakeSwap so that you can get your USDT. So this is just temporarily before, because this is uh, action for the company to build up all right, this platform, uh, this uh, FSL as a first ecosystem coin for thin so so once this platform this uh fsl coin is uh, gaining traction 
this pair will be launched. SCF to FSL pair will be launched. So now it's not launched yet. Oh, so please take note that it's not launched yet. So once this pair is launched, then you for those who don't want to play games, they can just swap. At this moment of time, uh, still unable to. All right. So for those members who wish to uh try to cash out now, they they need to do to play the game. Okay. They need to play the game. So this is something that uh the members need to take note. That's the currently that's the only way for this SCF to uh F USD to cash out using FSL FSL. All right. So the FSL contract address is actually in our announcement. Now I can actually show you. So please take this contract address. Huh? This use your announcement. Don't go to any because there's always coins. Right, so now the new contract address is here. This is the new contract contract address. So it's always in the announcement. Only take the contract address in the announcement. Okay. So of course, members can are still able to stick or to patch that the uh, FUSD or or your SCF mortgage, same. But uh, but you are getting F FUSD and SCF. So once you get the SCF or FUSD, you you have to use this method at this moment of time, huh? only on for this moment of time. To to play the game, and cash out through this FSL USDT pair. Which is in uh BSC chain, which is in Pancake Swap. So some of the members they may ask why Pancake Swap, right? So the Pancake Swap is reason is because uh as a ecosystem coin, company would like to encourage more users to be able to see the transaction in Pancake Swap. And it's also easier for members to exit by USDT. So that is the reason why uh, FSL USDT is on Pancake Swap. So I think uh, for members in using our own wallets, you can actually access Pancake Swap as well. So that uh, once you have the FSL coin, then uh, in your wallet, you can access Pancake Swap in your wallet as well. Be sure that you connect the correct contract address, then you can actually uh, exit and get your USDT. Uh, of course, I think some of your Muslim members have some concern, but the most important thing that we are not really gambling, all right, because there's no winning or losing. You just play the game, all right. So all the transaction, for example, you press one time, maybe 0 0.08 SCF. So you press, uh, let's say, 1,000 times, then you, you are... You, your transaction is 8 SCF. All right. So, so if at 8 SCF, this is your transaction volume. So, this is the transaction volume that you can, uh, you will generate FSL for you. So, doesn't matter. You just press, doesn't matter. It's not winning or losing. No worries about the winning or losing. No winning or losing. Company is working on a uh, transaction basis don't care whether it's winning or losing so of course in in the future company will be introducing more games right it's simpler games so allowing anyone that are able to just play the games which uh, using the using the fsl token or even using the scf or fusd to perform uh, to play the game so this is based on transaction. It's not based on winning or losing. Don't care. He doesn't care about the winning or losing. 
which is uh, uh, very important to know for all the members over here. So of course, for those uh, user assets that are liquidated, of course, it's already gone into the voucher. So once you're in the voucher, that you will be participating in the mining. So once you participate in the mining, means uh, you will get your mining returns on a daily basis. Of course, uh, everyone is, of course, is asking, you know, the return for this, how do you cash out, right? So this is the way to cash out. So the way to cash out is to tr is through FSL. And you can see FSL already listed in PancakeSwap. Right, let me show you again. It's in already in package swap. So as you can see, uh, once we educate the members, there are more and more transactions, right? More and more transaction going on in uh, this uh, package swap FSL token. Make sure that you key in the correct address uh, because the company actually go through one round of, of changing the address. So this address is the correct one. Oh, for the members to take note. Right. So this is the correct address. So must please make sure that you know F F zero eight. This is the address that um uh you know our members are taking note. So remember this finso is the important uh I repeat again uh, a very important uh, ecosystem. So of course, uh, that's why all these, I think a lot of our members do not have time to read it or, or they may not understand. So my, my um, uh, today's session is to explain, you know, that, uh, I mean, you don't need to worry about too much of this because uh, at the end of the day, uh, the issuing of the token is uh, 500,000 a day maximum, uh, depending on the how many, uh, how many percentage you are in to play these uh, the tokens that you allocated, right? It means depending on mining power. Mining power depends on your transaction that you have. So that's why I say you don't do it every day. So you do it one day, you do a lot. So if you do every day, you only have very, very little percentage on the every day. So if you do one day a lot, then you have a bigger a pie or bigger percentage on that day itself. So every day is start from zero. So every day you will count that account, how many transactions you have done based on SCF or FUSD. Then you get the percentage of the allocation of the FSL token. So once you have the allocation of FSL token, you can actually sell it in PancakeSwap, right? So this is the important message that I hope everybody can understand. All right, so, and because of this model, uh, I, I say again, uh, uh, it's 80% uh, daily revenue will be used to do FSL buyback and burning, and they burn 99%. So, left only 1%. So, the coin will be very little. So, every day will be burning and burning. So, we will expect the price, the, the supply of the coins is getting lesser and lesser on a daily basis. And at the, because of that, you know, the coin price will definitely go up slowly depending on how fast and how big of the transaction on a daily basis. So as of when, uh, so when are we launching the, uh, when are we launching the uh, SCF pair with FSL? Uh, we need company will need some time because that will depends on this transaction. So once this transaction uh, is uh, in on track, once this transaction is on track, then uh, to, to a level uh, that is favorable, the company will launch this pairing. Once the company launches pairing, then members do not need to play games anymore. You just have to use SCF to swap to FSL and FSL, you can actually liquidate through FSL USDT. 
So there must be enough transaction volume first. So please uh, take note of that. Huh? Okay. So this is the important message uh, of what we want to share uh, today. At the same time, company is uh, continuing on the uh on this operation of all the stickings as well as all the mortgage everything so with this continuation and uh, of course there will be uh members will be able to introduce new members so the the app will be uh updated in a couple of days time allowing new functions so the new function is uh there will be a separate calculation of uh, people who are using fusd or they are using usdt to do the sticking so with this new function uh, there will be a segregation between uh, fusd of uh, or usdt so for uh for new members that actually sticking with USDT, they will have uh, options to be able to get USDT as uh, returns. For the older members that have existing FUSD, the, the way to exit is through the FSL at this moment of time. So for this uh, will be announced or will be updated at the later part. So the app will be upgraded in a couple of days time. So this is uh, what we can uh, share with you at this moment of time. And for, for further updates, definitely we will have to wait for the company announcement in the app. And uh, this, is, uh, this is what we actually got the need from the management team. And that's the reason why we take this opportunity to share with all the members over here uh, what is going to happen in the near future. And, and the event for Osaka, Japan will go on as per normal, which is on the 21st of uh, October, which is uh, in another three days time, right? Two, three days time. And further events will be announced uh, from the near future then countries we can still operate as per normal and that's uh, of course the further information will be updated in the app all right okay so uh, Carlos yep Thank you, Michael, so much for sharing with us all the latest updates and giving us a lot of information. So, passing of information is very important and the right message bring across to members are very important. So, in the first place, when we came into any businesses, there's always risk involved all right so for example today i open a chicken rice store doesn't guarantee that my store can go on forever what i depends must have incoming people to visit my stores and buy my chicken rice so there's always demand and supply in a, especially in business we know that high risk, high returns, this must be passed down to people correctly. So much shows that we have the info being shared across the board. This is what we know and anything we base on company's official announcement. So 
all of us, some of us may have unsatisfaction. So likewise, we have the same feeling. Over the times, uh, it's like the feeling of flipping over the tables. But we need to be rational and not temperamental. So we got to look at things. A coin always have two sides, all right? So there's a head or the tail. So we decide whether we choose to believe. Our faith and trust is very important to any businesses that we do, right? Without further ado, we will open up the group for some Q&A. Please ask constructive questions and not saying things that is negative. We got to stay positive. We got to look at things in a different perspective. Right, so before we start the Q&A, shall we invite our CEO, Michael, to speak or we carry on with the Q&A first? Michael? Uh, hold on a second. Huh? And okay, I think all members, I think um, you got to understand that uh, we all the same. You see, we are, we are the same as you. Right, we are also uh, investing our own, you know, funds into it. So we are trying very hard to work with the company to negotiate whatever best for us. So we are no different. So I, I don't think we should uh, blame each other, right? So, and uh, whatever the company has decided is not you and I decide. So the best thing that we can do is to work along with the company to get things to our favor. And this is, we can't do this if we are not cooperative. We can't do this if we are not able to talk to the company. So from, you know, for as a leaders or representative or from the members, we are trying to work very hard. So I hope, you know, all members here will be able to appreciate us because we are no different compared to you guys. You can see how much voucher I have in my wallet. That's how I, you know, some of you guys may have seen, huh? 400,000. So this is something that we have invested our own funds inside as well. So we are also as eager to solve this issue as the same as you guys. So... Please be considerate, you see. So we are no different. So we are the same. But we are working hard to try to get, you know, to try to work along with the company. So imagine this. If the company decided not to work because all of us are giving a lot of trouble, what is going to happen to the company? It's, it takes only one minute or even few seconds, the server will be shut down. What can we do? Right? So we don't take that approach. It's not going to be uh, constructive. Right? So instead, we are working, you know, in the manner that we can talk terms. That is the most important that in time to come, we will be able to negotiate and get a lot more, you know, for example, to try to expedite, you know, uh, com the pairing from the, uh, from the F uh, SCF to so, uh, FSL. So when the company share with us that they want to build this ecosystem and this moment of time, they are using this channel to promote this FSL. So, of course, if let's say this FSL, nobody support, don't work. And they are not going to open the uh, SCF to SFL channel, the, the channel, right? So everybody is asking me, saying that, hey, when this channel is going to open, right? This channel, when is it going to open? It really depends on how the community work together. Right, so when when company decided to use this uh, Finso way, you know, 
to go through and build up the ecosystem, there must be a reason for doing it. And of course, I mean, we will try to understand from the company as much as we could. But at the same time, we have to do a cooperative work, right? So to cooperate with the company, to work together, right? So once we achieve some consensus and work together, we will be able to expedite, right? So probably in the week time or so, we can get this channel open up, you know, so that we can actually, uh, you know, swap to FSL and exit. Right. So instead of I or all the key leaders keep banging the management or, you know, uh, doesn't give constructive kind of uh, uh, working together, I think it's damaging then it's not going to work. So I hope all members, uh, you know, be a bit more considerate. And what is important is, uh, please think of it, we are all the same, right? Well, we also want our, you know, whatever that we have put in, getting back as fast as we could, right? It's the same. So, you know, but communication is important. The right way of articulation and communication is important. So we do want to end up that the company is ignoring us, not talking to us not listening to our suggestion and this will be something that which is totally unfavorable to every one of us right so i hope uh, all the members here calm down right spend some time i understand that you know most of the members are upset me either carlos either everyone is the same so when you spend some time yourself alone trying to, you know, uh, think about it. What is the best way for us to move forward? You will understand what we are doing is to help all the members over here, including ourselves. Okay, understand. So I think uh, let's uh, take some constructive questions and, uh, you know, and we can move on with it. Uh, we have uh, Carol, Jacob, where are you from? And questions. You may unmute yourself, Carol, Jacob. Carol, Jacob, are you there? If not, we will skip to the next. AAG Michael. Hello. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, call me Mike. Uh, thanks. Uh. I think, Michael, you give a very sensible talk. Uh. So I got two questions here. Uh, first question is... Uh, now I got a lot of SCF. I want to swap to FUSD so that I can do stacking. But look like I am unable to do so. Is the function disabled? Okay. The second question is our new mining, our new subscription, when is the company start to giving us the you know the uh, the mining SCF, the new one? Thank you. Okay, pertaining to the first questions on the Okay, you must make sure that you have enough of the gas fee. Check the SCF bin first. Uh, your network. If you are facing network issue, you can actually toggle to change to a better network server. At the moment, uh, you don't face an uh, issue of swapping the FCF main to FUSD to do the pledging. Because there's two parts 
that require the gas fee. One is on the swapping. The other one is on the quick pledge from your FUSD. So make sure you have enough of FCF min as the gas fee. So as for the question two, when the mining will start as what Michael have shared earlier on, uh, most probably is going to be tonight after 2, 3 a.m. for the new mining. Oh, you mean they will they, they give out the new new mining to us by tomorrow? Eh? Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Dr. Khan? Hello. Yeah, Dr. Khan? Yeah. I am from India. Are you able to listen to me? Yes, yes. Yeah, the, the first question is, hello? Yeah, yeah, you may ask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the last notification, it was said that on 18th of this month, that is today, all the functions will be restored. Uh, Mr. Michael, I think he told another two days it uh, needs uh, for the system uh, for the functioning. Okay. And uh, second question is, hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, second question was the same actually. Uh, that system uh, actually in the last notification it was told that uh, uh, the mining for the fresh, uh, I mean uh, the participant, I mean the mining will start on the 18th. So are we expecting to start it today? And uh, and what will be the calculations? Because uh, 180 days is not mentioned anywhere in the notification. So will it be the linear uh, distribution? I mean, uh, whatever the mining comes, that is from one block, uh, it is 10 SCF. So that is distributed in the one uh, 12,200 nodes, okay? And uh, in that, uh, whatever we get in the mining, will it be the same every day SCF or is it in the 180 days? Because 180 days is not at all mentioned anywhere in the notification. Right. So pertaining to these questions, uh, as what the company stated is on the 18th, so probably after tonight, we'll be receiving the mining. So the calculations are based on for no creator. Because of the 10 SEF, the formula given is 9.5 divided by 12,002 multiplied by the 28,800 and multiply by the 20%. So this is for the node creator. For normal subscriber, the amount subscribed to the node will divide by 900,000 and multiply by the 17.94. So this 17.94 belongs to the 80%. So how we calculate, we derive is from the 2800, multiply the 20% and multiply by the 9.5 over the 12,002. And we multiply by four, which is 80%. So this is the guideline for how much individual will get from the mining over the linear distribution of 180 days. Pardon, one, one question, yeah. This I'm not able to understand. Uh, this linear uh, distribution will be we will be getting the same amount of SCF daily, or uh, will it be 180 days? I mean, the last uh, calculator which used to be, uh, which was functioning, so that uh, there is no mention in the uh, notification. So will it be linear, sir? Daily we are going to get the uh, that our part of whatever the, they have mentioned in the calculation. To be more accurate, we. Based on the latest uh, company app announcement, so as what we understand, it's uh, similar to the past mining 
as what is being distributed. Sir, one more thing, sir. Actually, USDT TRC20 is there in the wallet and uh, we are unable to swap it. So, right. this, yeah, yeah. when we are going to get the function started again, sir, resume the function again to convert it to some other, I mean, uh, USDT, USDT, PEP20 or... Right. For this function, uh, company hasn't announced anything yet. So we are all waiting for the latest announcement regarding this uh, function to be open again. As of current, we only, what we can do is swapping our FCF to FUSD to do the normal pledging or to do the mortgage in the quick pledge or to do the normal LP pledge. Or we can go into the FinSo and mine out the FSL and convert to USDT in the pancake swap. Oh, so, okay, so we can uh, play the games and there we can convert it to a FSL and then we can swap it to USDT. What you what you what you're saying, sir. Right, at this moment. At this moment. Right. So uh, that, that is the only way to generate FSL and get converted to a USDT. Yes, at this moment. So uh more channels will be opened up. I think the first Channel probably will be the after some time when the FSL gain traction, then we will see the SCF to FSL swapping will be opened up. Then I believe eventually, eventually, we probably will see more open up of pairing, including the uh, well, FUSD to USDT, but nothing firm at this moment of time now so the current moment is we have to channel this to fsl sir one one question sir last question uh sir michael sir uh fusd is a stable coin what i heard uh so why there is no use of fusd nowadays for uh, converting i mean swapping is there any scarcity of fusd in the system or uh, the company wants to promote the fsl at this moment of time, uh, the promotion of FSL is the one that the company is looking at. If not, I think it's difficult for the FSL token to gain traction. So I believe uh, this is the one of the major reason why while wow, FSL is important. So uh, once I guess uh, once this gain traction, more channel will be opened up. So probably in the future. We are hoping to get the uh, FUSD started, sir. I hope so. Yeah, because we all hope so. Yes, okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madan KR. Yeah, very good evening to all of you. And I would like to, first of all, appreciate you people that you have a wonderful energy in a panic situation even, correct? I am Madan Kumar from India, and I would like to ask a questions. Is there a, a, another trap for us like FSL? Yes, sir. Yes, definitely there'll be more tokens, coins, partnership into FCF and also, if you have followed the updates in the announcement, all the ecosystems actually carries the own coin or token for the ecosystems. So definitely there'll be more coins coming in. And also company also mentioned that we are able to actually swap from BTC to FUSD, Ethereum to FUSD. So, we wait for company updates as most accurate. Okay. Uh, I would like to add here, uh, what will be with the old people? I mean, old investors who have already invested in a huge amount of money, correct? But uh, the people will get a very, you know, a chunk of part of that. 
and we have another uh, trap i i i mean i mean to say i would like to say it uh, another trap that people will again invest in fsl and they will be again cheated am i right first there's no investment in fsl no investment so fsl is an ecosystem coin that uh, in fact you know encourage members to play games and uh, you earn fsl you earn fsl and you actually able to cash out from the fsl there's no investment in fsl and of course i think as uh, i have uh, you know mentioned we are all the same so we are work, trying to work with the company to get things better for all of us so i i'm sorry that I'm not able to answer you some of the question that you have right okay so, no issue no issue sir no issue sir but uh, you are supposed to because uh, because you people are on the you know virtue of the grace of the god that you can you know uh, contact management level and uh, you can put uh, our questions at your own level correct yes yeah, certainly so this is the last and my humble request that you should represent our, all over countries i mean all universe people that what will be happen with the leaders who have work day and night like go into fire yeah we all understand yeah same so we all understand all the situation and we will uh bring the voices to the management as far as we could. Thank you. Yeah, that's the reason why we are here today to update once the management has something that updating us and we try our best to spend time with all the members here so that we can update all the members what is, you know, the company plan. And of course, we are listening and we are actually providing all our feedbacks as much as we could to the management. Thank you. I have another another questions. Uh, a placing and all functions will be resumed by tomorrow. In fact, had pledging is already uh, doable. You can do the pledging now. Uh, no I problem. know that. I know that it has been done since eleventh of October itself. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but uh, there will be any change, uh, like in percentage for seven days, fifteen days, and thirty days. 1.1, 1.2, etc. There will be uh, some revision, but uh, for the exact, uh, we are not able to know right now, but uh, we were told that there will be some changes. So we should advise the people to invest uh, right now or later then? Uh, we can uh, ask yes them. And to, no. to... Uh, yes and no. It's up to individual choice. Okay, because... okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. KL. KL uh, hi. hi, Michael. Uh, KL Wong from KL Malaysia. Uh, thanks for the uh, clarification that both of you have given. Uh, I got one question. Uh, actually, I got two questions. First question, uh, Finso is a virtual casino. So when we play the game, there is a possibility of losing. Am I right? The mining of SF, FSL, right, is yeah. about transaction. Doesn't care whether you win or you lose. It's about your wager. So if you were to read carefully on the uh, announcement, it's about the wager, how much you have actually wage, and that is how they calculate so the contribution is uh, based on the wager that you have made and the wager that you have made that will be calculated of a percentage of the whole uh, of the entire day for the everybody. So you will have a certain percentage and based on that percentage will be allocated accordingly and will uh, the FSL will release to you. I see. So therefore, I will just have to, let's say, for example, the uh, 
one of the uh, uh, roulette game or whatever, I just spin the thing and and that is how I participate in the game. It doesn't matter whether I lose that uh, that, that that spin or not. Yes, it doesn't matter. Okay, because uh, Carlos has written a reply in the question here. He says it's not a free game, so play at own risk. So that seems to be... Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. of course, every time when you press the button, there's a certain yeah. amount of FCF being deducted. Right? So uh, uh -huh. if you press it's 0 0.008 SCF, you press 100 times, so you spend 0 0.8 SCF, right? It's something like that, okay? So, uh -huh. you know, but when you do that, uh, you you can you may win or you may lose so it doesn't matter but what matter is you have uh, which 0.8 SCF if you press one other time all right yeah so of course i think we hear the members because yesterday we have a long meeting with the key leaders around the world that represent different countries and uh, some of the muslim uh, saying that this is not uh, uh, you know uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Where's the word again? Uh, I forgot. Haram. <laughs> uh, Haram or whatever, you know. Yeah. So, uh, which I said is, uh, first is uh, you're not gambling. There's no element of gambling. Right? So, doesn't matter if you win or lose. No gamble. Just press. So, once you press, you will get the allocation of FSL. All right? But, of course, we will introduce more games. We will introduce more games. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that which the company is working on it. All right. So we are upgrading the server as well as introducing more games so that all members will be able to play different games. Of course, uh, it costs to play the game. All right. It costs to play the game for a certain amount of SCF or certain amount of FUSD. All right, so uh, this is how it works, yeah. Okay, so in other words, if uh, in short, if I am uh, very against uh, playing this game, I just sit out and I wait for the pairing to be introduced, which would, you will say, you do not know when. Uh. Yes, we will not. So the, the this pairing will be introduced once the, uh, once uh, FSL is gaining traction. So, I mean, um, of course, some members will do it, some members will not, right? So, but there will be, let's put 80-20 rules. So, 20% of the members, they will try. 80% will just stay put, right? It's fine. Mm -hmm. So, the moment there's a traction being gained, anyway, uh, what uh, happened here is, uh, especially on, uh, because since this is uh, announced in uh, 9 of October until now, uh, that is about, almost close to 10 days. Uh, there's still a lot of members that are not aware of this, right? So education is important. Once more people are being educated, they will try. You know, once they try, some will do it, some will not. But let's take 20% of it doing it, then we will definitely have traction. Once we have traction on this, and, uh, you know, uh, the buyback will, will stick, will continue. And of course, uh, I have received feedback from members that, you know, the system have some issues. Yes, indeed, initially, the system have some issue. Some calculation is not correct and some double calculation because they initially was some accumulative of the coins and stuff like that. And now, uh, I think in 24 hours or so, this all this will be corrected and will upgrade the gaming server as well. Yeah, so this will be able to uh, get things going faster. And mm. uh, once the traction is there, I believe, uh, you know, this pairing will be released soon. So yes. I think uh, we need to have uh, support from the community on this. Has there been any indication of roughly what's the timeline like? It depends on you and me and the rest of the members. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, but uh, among the leaders and things like that, or with among the the bosses. Yeah, we have no idea. No um, idea. Okay. Yeah. No, no worries. I'm not asking you to commit a, a, a day. Uh, okay. Uh, my last question is: So now, how about for new investors? Now, how do they get their FUSD? Is it uh, P2P with all members? 
and then how do they then cash out? Do they go through the FSL route? All right. So uh, from the company, uh, from the meeting from yesterday, right? So at this moment of time, there will be a uh, segregation between the new and the assisting uh, with FUSD and SCF. So the only route for the assisting uh, guys to cash out is through the FSL. However, for the new investors, brand new, they will have an option, which means that if they were to come in with USDT, they will have an option to cash out in USDT. As of how exactly this can be done, we have no idea yet. So this will uh, this has been communicated to us on this, and uh, the app will uh, upgrade right to the latest version in time to come. I believe in these few days, and for new investors, they will be able to catch up easier in USDT rather than going through the FSL route. All right. So this is uh. The details is not announced. Let's wait for the official announcement and the official update of the app. It should be within this week. So I think new investor, we can just uh, ask them to hold on for a while. Okay. Yeah, that's all my question. Thank you. All right. Keep Thank up the good work. Thank you, Wong. Uh, we have Arthur. You may unmute. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Yeah, I just want to bring up the topic about the transfer fees and the pledging fees. Eh? Um, and also you mentioned about the gaming, where you will also incur some fees. Eh? So the perception uh, calculated now is. Uh, if we want to go into any of these activities, the fees uh, will be eaten up and it's pretty high. Will will there will that be brought up to management? Uh, for this, uh, we have highlighted this to the management, and uh, at this moment of time, because I think uh our ecosystem for FSL is not really being uh educated and promoted, things are not moving yet. So I guess uh, uh, first there's a lesser transaction. Second is uh, you know to prevent everyone from uh, just squeezing out. That's why there is this uh, higher percentage of this fee is implemented. But this is not long term, right? Because uh, you know once uh, our ecosystem for FSL and all this is uh, in uh, in place or in line. Uh, in, on in traction, uh, transaction fee will be revised. This has been uh, brought up, and uh, you know this has been brought up, and uh, this is what the management has uh, replied to us. So, uh, need not to worry too much about that. Uh, it will be adjusted once we open up, especially now. Uh, you know, uh, the rest of the countries is open, and. Uh, we are actually pretty surprised huh, that the outside China market is moving pretty fast. Okay. Pretty fast. Yeah. So I think this is some good news for us because I think that means the ecosystem supporting the company from various members, they are actually moving. Yeah, okay. I think <laughs> the important thing is uh, you know about it and to bring it up for our advantage. Yes. Indeed. Otherwise, whenever we do any FUSD pledging or whatnot, the the cost of doing it is uh, high, badly deducted from our gross profit. That's point number one. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Michael. The other one is I want to ask about the AVE dot AI, the SCS uh, FUSD LP. The, does that mean, from what I see, is that the company is uh, abandoning that portion? Am I thinking it right? I mean, I'm just asking in a positive manner. Yeah. Uh, on which one? Sorry. Uh, you you know, in AVE.ai, mm -hmm. uh, we have actually built 
a liquidity pool of over 800 million FUSD slash SCF. And right now, we can't convert from FUSD to USDT. Fine. I think we know that. Does that mean the company is abandoning no, that no, no, pool? No, 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 because, no, 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 no. So because, it's just a temporary measure. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just a temporary so, measure. So because uh, I think now uh, the promotion of the ecosystem, that's why somehow... You know, we got to channel through this route, but uh, once this is done, okay. I think there will be more uh, channeling open up on other means, yeah. Okay, no, I think I think I'm just asking on behalf of my members just to put the point through, and then uh, uh, two more points: the new the new app version where we will be pledging with USDT. Um, forgive me for saying, would would that mean that? As we withdraw the profits in USDT, as you said, it will be divulged later. Will there be a pattern whereby later on it will be sucking into note voucher creation and all those things again? That's our biggest worry. I don't know whether you can comment uh, on that. I believe you know the answer. Okay. <laughs> I also I'm don't glass, know. I'm glass for that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we are... Yeah? yeah? It's just like a natural disaster hits. We do not know when. So... <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, then the last point that I want to raise is our... Now we got round one mining rewards. We got round two mining rewards coming tomorrow after 2 a.m. Um... I don't know whether you can answer or comment. Uh, how how secure is this continuous mining uh, to reach us on a daily basis? Uh, I mean, since the company is continuing, I believe uh, there's no point, you know, not giving up because there are so many members uh, watching this mining on a daily basis. Uh, from a perspective, from my personal view, I don't think, you know, I don't think, but I don't represent the company. Uh, so, yes, yes, I, understand. <laughs> I don't represent the company. <laughs> so, but uh, from the activities and from, you know, what the management has uh, told us that I think uh, at this moment of time, uh, the continuation is the key, la, right? But uh, yeah, yeah. we we know, okay. we are we are we as we don't know when the earthquake will start. Also, so <laughs> it's natural disaster anyway. Okay, okay. So I think those are the few keywords that I want to bring up and get your understanding and comments. Uh. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, just to actually share the confidence, uh, we actually in the office today witnessed uh, a leader uh, despite being the down period due only with these few days, uh, the sales volume is able to generate uh, 4 million sales with this short spans of this down period. That means a fresh. So, fresh USDT or fresh UF USD? Freshly LP or pledge. So the oh. team volume actually uh, achieved a 4 million sales. So that shows that how belief and how they trust the SCF to continue to move even uh, to a better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so the final thing is that uh, all this cooperation is needed to build up a new LP pool for FSL. That's the way I look at it, right? The LP pool is built by the company. It's oh, not, it's, it's not built by... Say 5 to 10 million inject, initial yeah. injection, right? That's why it's nothing to do with the members. Members are not contributing to it. Members are actually using it to do the transaction or even to cash out. But okay. generating traction is important to attract a secondary market to come in, right? Because of the burning mechanism that will push the pricing out. But don't forget, these uh, members is also cashing out through this channel by doing the, uh, you know, uh, 
buying back and burn mechanism, definitely, you know, uh, it will slowly go up and uh, attracting transaction as well as attracting secondary market to come into pancake swap on to trade on this pair. So I think this is the objective of the uh, company. Yeah. Understand the concept. So uh, just to just to finalize my discussion here, uh, assuming that uh, smaller players are around and they got, say, a few SCF, the cooperation that is needed now is just to play a game. Just play, play, play. And we shouldn't be too worried about the fees. And uh, it would be good if you could maybe later on work with CJ to show us an example of how the playing occur, like what you did with uh, at the office maybe today or yesterday. Because we, we worry that <laughs> we yeah, don't get yeah. it immediate, right? We need to get it the next day. So we don't know like how much we put in SCS and how much do we really get awarded. Mm. Uh, as you said, there's a formula in terms of FSL, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. All these are not in our control. So no, the uh, yeah the backend system will calculate. So depending on your total wage, that means how much you, how many time you press us. Uh, so that you know okay. eventually how uh you're going through how many rounds or whatever. So that will contribute to a percentage, and based on that percentage, yeah. you will be allocated, right? So uh, it's all system compute. So it's uh you know it's not controlled by us. Anyway, okay. Uh, no, let's that. wait for the uh gaming server to be upgraded mm. then uh, it's easier for members to go in so everybody rushing in is difficult to get connected at this moment of time so uh, we are upgrading the server right now okay thank you i think i end my questions now thank you all right so i think uh some of the questions that they have that why we have a event in japan three days time i believe some of the members are they are Actually, they do miss out what I've said earlier because uh, I've said this at the beginning of the session that company have decided to resume these four countries, reinstate all the accounts from the member in these four countries, which is Hong Kong, Macau, Japan, and Taiwan. So which means that all the members located in these four countries will resume and reinstate their account accordingly. So these countries will be able to perform what we can perform in other countries. That is the reason why the Japan event is still going on. All right. So on top of updating to the Japan members, so we also have to educate the members in Japan. All right. This time it's in Osaka. All right, on on the forward plan of the company, right? I hope uh members can understand this. Anyway, I think uh we are actually almost two hours in our meeting. We will just yeah. take the final question and uh, we will correct the thing. Because we are inviting our CEO, Mr. Michael Wong. To actually say a few words so we can take one more and he will call the ending so uh so karen able to unmute Karen, are you there? Hello. Hello. I'm yeah. Karen from KL. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Michael, I want to ask one question. Uh, if we uh, play the game uh, using uh, SCF, so uh, we play, play, and then we, we get... Uh, FSL. Then we we want to turn to turn to uh USDT. What is the rate 
is it depend on the the rate that shown on the on the uh AV, AVE? Yes, I think so. Based on the Thank contract asset. But now is uh let me see what is the rate what is one one thirty one. Oh, so if we have one hundred, uh, FSL, then time by one point three one. Yeah, now lah. So you get one hundred thirty one USDT. Oh, but uh, how much to pay to get one hundred? Uh, it varies FSL? every varies every day. So depending on how much you have uh, transacted and based on your percentage, it will be distributed on a daily basis. So okay. nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Uh, I mean, how many is how many? So uh, every day is different. So depending how many people play on that day. Oh, you go by Porata? Yes, you're right. And then... Uh... Uh, what is the minimum of SCF to play? No minimum. No you, minimum. If you play lesser, then your allocation will be very little. Maybe 0 0.001 FSL or whatever. Like like slot, slotting machine? No, no. It's about the transaction. Let's say, for example, if you press one time, it's 0 0.008 SFCF. You press 100 times, is 0 0.8 SCF. That means your overall contribution is 0 0.8 SCF. So your 0 0.8 versus few hundred thousand, your percentage is very, very, very small. So your FSL is allocated is very, very small also. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, no minimum, we can... Play with 0 point, uh, 0 0.01 SCF. Can and we? Your allocation will be very little. Oh. So. Mm -mm -mm. so, in order to get more, then we have to put more so Not that we put get more. more. You play more. La. You play more. Or, or, play, or play more. La. No, because you have one SCF, maybe you when you play, right? You win and lose, win and lose. Uh, maybe you will, your wager could put be two or three SCF. Mm, mm, mm. Then we, we have to press, 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 like like we press our slotting machine and that press, 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 press. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. it you, you is hold it like... you hold you can do auto press? Oh. So who is going to teach us how to play? Uh I think we will make a video, but uh because today I think the server is pretty jammed up. Yes. So Maybe tomorrow, uh, we will make a video and uh, send it to the group. Huh? Okay. Okay, this is my question. Good night, Michael. Carlos. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, the video I will share in the YouTube also. When the whole thing stabilized, I will also share in the YouTube on how to, on the demo on how to play. Very yeah. good. Right, so without further ado, we shall invite our Asian Pacific CEO, Mr. Michael Wong, to give us the ending, and we will call it a day. So let's us put our hands together to invite Mr. Michael Wong. Uh, hello, yeah. everybody. Welcome. Okay, uh, I'm Michael Wong, the CEO of uh, Asia Pacific. Okay, I really understand everyone. Okay, I understand how you feel. And I felt the same way as you. Okay, some I think most of you have been following the company uh, group, things like that. That you all should know that I was in Thailand on the 8th of October. And the news was announced on the 10th. So when it announced on the 10th, actually I'm on the print. Okay, so I'm actually as like everybody. Okay, we are off, off cut. Okay, nevertheless, uh, I want to thank Michael Xie for okay, uh, sharing all the important points to everyone. And we are peace reassured that we are actually negotiating with the company and getting more information to actually to pass down to all of you. Okay, uh, there are a few points that I actually... Um, 
want to mention here. Okay, first things first is uh, like what at the beginning of the meetings, Michael have mentioned that our Yu Zhong, uh, has the company have accepted her resignation. Okay, I should say that I'm also very upset that this thing has happened because Yu Zhong is the one who sponsored me into the platform. And nevertheless, I must really thank her. Okay, uh, I think mo most of us also agree with me that if without her beginning, we would not have what we have today. You know, of course, some of us has uh, the leader who actually joined earlier that really gained their wealth. Unfortunately, those people behind, we are with the changes. And I would say that I actually uh, came in quite late also. Okay, I came in to the platform March this year. Okay, so, and I was appointed this position middle of August, which is one and a half month ago. So I was assigned and actually uh, to share with people about the white paper and as well as our statistics and our figure, you know, to different countries. That's my job. However, I hope everyone understand that the decision making is not me, it's not my career, it's not either one of us, and it is achieved made by the company that we have no say to be very frank on this. Okay, and like any one of us, we also have our own stacking. We also have uh, our own team running. We, okay, some members have actually see our account. You know? We also stack quite a, quite an amount. Okay? But anyway, we're responsible for our own investment or our own stacking. That is not a big problem. Okay, what I want to share is, okay, because a lot of people is actually asking me, uh, there are many, many leaders all over the world which text me, you know, actually what happened to to her and things like that, okay? Of course, uh, I put it this way, we'll be the very neutral, neutral position. Okay, maybe I just share with everyone. Like what I mentioned, we, I would like to thank her you know, without her, the platform will not last until today. This is for sure. Okay, nevertheless, she's the one who actually built the network up. Okay, we put it this way. When the company take action against her, which is a founder or a, a person that actually bring the, bring the platform up, when the company do this difficult decision, definitely there are something happen that the company cannot accept of her action and conduct. Okay, so this is uh, actually what happened. So nevertheless, the company have said with or without her, the company will move on. You know, so when she actually sent out her resignation letter, it actually made, uh, made some vibration to the to the whole market. Okay, so. And now I'm actually in the hot seat, you know, that I need to uh, get more information from the company and then uh, try my best within my capacity, okay, together with the help of uh, my cursor because he's the technical guy. Okay, frankly speaking, I'm not the technical guy in terms of all the, all the, all the IT things. I really depend on my cursor to help me to explain to all of you. Okay, so um, I will mention I really understand how everybody feels and then uh, I want to reassure all of us, uh, all of you, that we will do our very best okay, to negotiate with the company and all the remarks and all the concern and all the feeling of all the members we are noted, okay. We'll be, we'll be uh, talking to the company and hope that the company can, can listen, uh, listen to us, 
And of course, with this hard decision that the company have made, definitely they will have their own reason. You know, nevertheless, like what uh, Michael have shared earlier, if the company is here to take our money, they just need to have less than one minute. They just shut it down. And then we cannot actually go into our app, which a few companies have done so before. So I'm actually uh, praying very hard, you know, that all community will actually uh, continue to stand by, okay, to support or maybe move forward together company. Because for this blockchain things, if the company don't depend on himself alone, he depend on all of us actually, all of the community to support, to move it on. So I think the company is also know this point, you know, that they need the community. However, the action that they take, the decision that they take is not a favor one, which actually upset a lot of people, including myself, including, I can say almost 100% people. So we are trying to negotiate and understand why the company do this. And now that the company have uh, uh, shown that they are actually fine tuning and they are actually building on the FSL and moving on. So like what we have mentioned that, okay, uh, Michael said have actually mentioned that we are going to Japan and I will be going to Japan, Osaka on the 21st event. So I myself is, I say I'm taking up this responsibility to go to Japan, to explain to the Japan people, Japan member, and update them personally, face to face. Frankly speaking, I can choose not to go, but I think as what I am now, I will want to take up this responsibility. You know, since our Yu Zhong is no more around, you know, we need someone to to okay, uh, so called lead, you no, know, the platform things like that to get more information. I will personally take up this role to to go to Japan first stop, and then we need to go to Osaka and as well as need to go to Tokyo. You know, in fact, there are members who ask me, "You better don't go." You know, so okay, I I heard that concern about me. However, I guess I should go, and then I should uh, pass down the correct information. You know, hope that everyone we stand by together. And we let's move on. We keep our finger crossed. We play hard. Okay. I myself, Michael Se, and all the leaders. Okay, we have actually a meeting with all the leaders of all the countries. Okay, all the top leaders yesterday. For me, I need everyone's support because I need your support to talk to the company. I need to fight for our right. Okay. And I need everybody to stand by me. Okay, I hope every member can really understand our position now. And we have said many times, we are also the investor. We have our own, our own money inside also. So we are in the same boat. Please, everyone, okay, we need you to support us and we spare together as one direction. You know, and hope that okay, uh, everything turns out to be good, and all of us will get what we want. At the end of the day, all of us invest is because we are to make money. Okay, so the company was working on it. Another thing is, uh, some leader have actually messaged me about the Muslim community. Maybe I want to address this concern. Okay, of the of the game in the fin. So, uh, Michael has actually mentioned it already. Okay. Of course, those are like casino game in the in the app. Okay, I have spoken to the company regarding this. Okay, they will uh find means to come up with different games. Okay, uh, not related to casino gaming. Okay, so people from maybe Pakistan, the Muslim country, the Muslim uh members. Okay, the companies have already noted this. Okay, please uh be reassured about that. Okay, so. Actually, the company is listening to us. It's only that uh, this 
the final decision is still up to them. See, I have people from Vietnam, India, you know, Pakistan. They actually, uh, all over the world, they have been calling me, things like that. See, I will try my best to give you the answer within my capacity, within my knowledge. Okay. I, like what I mentioned, okay, I will, together with our team, Michael, you know, Carlos and all the leaders, we will try our best to get as much positive information as possible to pass down to everyone. Okay, please bear with us if we never pass out information. It's because that we cannot confirm the information is 100% correct. That's why we don't want to pass down. Of course, there are many, many write-up, you know, many uh, other information in the Telegram, in the YouTube, things like that, okay? Okay, just want to have a gentle reminder for those information that you can find in other uh, other part, you know, like what I mentioned, okay, social media, that doesn't represent official. That doesn't represent official. Okay, so hope everybody can understand this. Also, some of them, also, also that uh, some member has told me that there are some scammer outside there. Also, everyone, please be careful as well. Uh, so this one, uh, please be not taken. Okay. It's been late now, already, already, Singapore time, about 11.30. And I guess uh, a lot of us, especially the leaders, we have many sleepless nights already. So I think all of us, uh, thank you everyone for attending this Zoom meeting. Okay. Um, once again, the last time I want to mention is I myself, our team, Michael, and Carlos, and all the big leaders, okay, within the whole community, including Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan, Thailand, Japan, India, Pakistan, you know, Nigeria, all the big leaders were in contact. And then we are actually talking to the company. So, okay, and we hope the best, okay. I will do my best and I hope God will do the rest for us. Also, uh, I think I will uh, make it a note here and then I'll pass the time back to Carlos. Carlos, can you take over, please? Thank you. Thank you, our CEO, Mr. Michael. And thank you for our speaker, Michael, for sharing the latest updates. And also thanks to everybody here on this chat room. And we move as a community. All right. Last but not least, have a great night. Have a blessed day to everyone. We keep all the prayers. And thank you. Good night. Thank you.